and welcome to Let's Fly VFO everyone. Today we're going to have a quick tutorial on how to go installing aircraft into X-Plane 11. Where to find them, what to look for and the simple process on how to do it just to help you out if you're new. So go to uh, to your browser and let's go through to xplane.org. Xplane is probably one of the best places to find add-ons for Xplane itself. Um, there are other places, there's Simviation and a whole lot of others out there as well, but this is probably the best one to go to just for X-Plane because this is their focus. So as you can see here, you do have to uh, register. It doesn't cost you anything to do that. And then we'll go through and have a look at the top aircraft. I think is probably the easiest way. There's a number of different ways you can see from that um, file dropdown to go find aircraft. And then we'll just zoom in a little bit closer and then we'll find an aircraft that we uh, we might like to install into the aircraft folder in X-Plane 11. So here we are, we've got a nice King Air. This looks uh, like a pretty nice one. And you can see there's a lot of information there in red. Tells you a lot about the uh, file itself and some of the things you should and shouldn't do. Uh, you've got the download button over to the right and then you've got information here on especially how big the file is. If the file is, let's say 100 megabyte or more, it's likely to have really nice textures and be a lot better internally uh, and there's probably a lot more detail to it so uh, if you find something at about 20 or 30 megabyte it's probably not going to have a great deal uh, of detail um, so we've got deliveries uh, we've got two versions of the download i think we might just take the uh, the, the bottom one here uh, the reason there's a number of different files is they can't always uh, the files sometimes are too big there's limitations on what do so you click on the download file and you can see it down there on the left hand side downloading um, feel free to read further down you can find a lot more about any issues people might have had with it if there's known issues just by scrolling down and looking at the comments guys so um, it's pretty easy to do that uh, it take, does take a just a couple of minutes to download depending on your internet speed but we're uh, pretty much there I think at the moment so we will move through that. Now you can see this one's x 11 version 11.50 with the introduction of Vulcan that caused a few issues for uh, older add-ons. So um, it's worth also noting that. Much ready to go. So let's click on the show in folder. So this takes you through to the download folder and you can see it highlighted there. So we right click on it. I'm using ZZip. You need a, a, something to uncompress it. So you can get WinZip or ZZip, you can quickly find that. I'll try and leave you a link in the description to go find that and download it. Now, what's important with these folders is that you have a folder, as you can see it here. So you've got a folder there and it's got all the internals. Okay, if you go back one step, grab that folder, okay? Sometimes you have folders within folders and X-Plane can't see the aircraft. So you go put it into your into where you want it and then it won't, won't work. So Go into X-Plane, go into Aircraft, go into Extra Aircraft, and just simply paste it in there that I've done. If, you, if that was a bit quick, just go back and have another look. But you can see the uh, the aircraft folder uh, is now sitting there, and that's all there is to installing. So all we need to do now is to go ahead and open up X-Plane, and we will find it sitting in the menu waiting for us. This takes a little time. Just had an update to 11.52. New flight. And uh, done this uh, twice today. I downloaded that uh, is it Howard or whatever aircraft it is there. We'll just have a look around so we can find it. There it is. There's our King Air that we've just downloaded. We can open up the uh, tab here and have a look at some more of the uh, items that we can adjust. You can get if you download the uh, liveries, you'll find more liveries up the top there. You can change the fuel, the weight, and everything for the aircraft here as well. If you have any problems, just hit the restore defaults, but it's there. So you get a bit over an hour's worth of fuel failures. Now here you can set up for, for failures so that parts of the aircraft do fail, because that's what happens in real world. Things break on occasion. So you can go through and do that. Once you have a failure, you can come back and fix everything there by clicking on that if you have an engine file or a prop file uh, so we'll pick somewhere to go and have a look at the aircraft itself 
quick, something quick. Um, I've got the uh, Orbix True Earth scenery, but it does take a long time to load at the moment. It's on a uh, an old, on a hard drive as opposed to an SSD. So let's go through. We've got some real world weather, guys. If you haven't done it, um, this is where you can get real world weather. Just come into the weather tab, um, select the world, match world, real world conditions down the bottom there, and uh, hit the refresh. And up there in the top corner, you can tell how often to check so that you get updates as you're flying along. If you happen to be going for a long flight, and we'll just duck into Adelaide International, YPAD, and have a look and see what the aircraft looks like. So here we are inside. There's a little bit of a scenery issue there. Not sure what that's about offhand, but I won't worry about it for now. Um, this is very detailed, isn't it? Looking good now. One thing I couldn't do is I could get, work out how to turn the artificial horizons and other stuff on on those um, gauges directly ahead, but it's something we'll, uh, we can work out later on. Lots of gauges, everything's clickable. I did have a look at this in VR. It looks really good in VR as well. Textures here are fantastic. Look at the, the shine on the engine and the, uh, and the spinner, the prop there shine and the detail work on the, uh, on the wings is just really really nice it's fantastic done a lot of work here guys so that's why the file is a lot larger in that like 380 uh, megabyte regions because of all the textures and work that the guys have done fantastic work uh, looks very nice looking forward to taking this thing for a flight but let's have a look a bit more around we can set up some uh, views now if you're not sure about setting up views in x-plane it's really easy um, you can use the W and uh, E, W and R, E keys to rotate left and right. Then you can use the R and F keys to look up and down to rotate your view. You can use the arrow keys to go left, right, up and down. And you can use the um, the, the two, what would you call them, the two arrow keys down at the bottom next to the shift or the point and the period to move to zoom in and out as well guys so you can do all of that and once you set a, a view that you like just hold a control hold control down and then hit the uh, hit one of your numpad and it will numpad keys and it will store so if you go to set up your your pilot view if you hit control and say numpad uh, eight is what i would use it's the very top center and then i would use the one to the left which would be the number seven and i would do like a quarter view to the left and then i'd use the four key to do a full 90 degree to the left view that sort of thing is what i would look and if you want to set up a view like this you can just move yourself around the cockpit and uh and then go control and save it to say number five or one of the other number of keys that you like if you want to use that for uh making videos but there we are we've got an aircraft we found it at xplane.org We've downloaded it, we have unpacked it using ZZip, and uh, then you're able to install it into X-Plane, Aircraft, and the Extra folder. And you just copy it down in there. And again, just remembering that you need to just make sure you have the one folder with the contents in it. You don't want uh, like a an aircraft folder inside an aircraft folder and then all the contents if you have that it won't show up for you so i hope you find that uh, little quick tutorial and this, this is a great little airplane go download it guys and give it a try and i will catch you back here at let's fly vfr again real soon some more tutorials to come subscribe like and share with your mates if you wouldn't mind and i'll catch you again very soon thanks a lot Bye bye